We're here with uh, Delano Garcia, a former state representative. We're talking politics about uh, local, uh, state, and national. Delano, welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting nice. me and having me here. Thank you for coming in. Um, so how are things going with you? Uh, I know uh, last time we spoke, we, you were involved in the, in the South Valley area. We can talk a little bit about that. Or yes. uh, let, let's start from there. Okay. Well, we, I've been involved in the South Valley, South Valley politics, local politics for about over 40 years now. Uh, you, you live in the South Valley area? Yes, right? I do. Yeah, okay. and, and that's where I choose to live. Uh, that's where I want to live. Uh, the South Valley, you know, is, to me, is very unique uh, from the rest of Bernalillo County. Uh, very proud people, a lot, a lot of pride. But we also have our problems. Uh, one of the biggest problems we have is in the educational, pro the educational system. I don't think anybody takes the education away. In, in the South Valley, you're saying yes. there's an educational problem. Well, well, well uh, mainly at, at Rio Grande High School. Uh, seems like we keep changing administrations at the high school. Nobody really takes us serious. Uh, year after year and decade after decade, we keep having the highest dropout rates, the lowest test scores, on and on. Uh, part of it is, in, in, part of it you can blame on the administration, but a lot of it you can blame also on the people themselves. Uh, they, they've gotten complacent, they just send their kids to school, they really don't help their children. What's the population of South Valley? There's so many the, estimates. About, about 60,000, 60, roughly? The, 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 there's different estimates that I've heard, but the unincorporated part of the South Valley, anywhere from 60 to 80,000 people. Oh, okay, and, and there's an issue with the unincorporated incorporated right, areas. Right, correct. Yeah. So who handles the unincorporated areas? Is this the part of the county? The, it's, it's county government, yes. So they the, have to Bern, deal with the... Bernalillo County Commission. Unincorporated areas. But even in that respect, if you think about it, we have, let's, let's keep it conservative, if it's 60,000 people in the unincorporated part of the South Valley, we have one representative in a county commission that mm -hmm. represents 60,000 people. Okay. While the makeup of the county commission is five members, which is, is not really fair at this point, when you have one representative versus the other four that live in, mm -hmm. within the city limits, what what's who's the commissioner for South Valley? Uh, I know who's, whose district is that? Commissioner Art de la Cruz. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're going to have him on the show too. Right. Um, and um, okay, yeah, I'll let you take it from there. I know there's issues with the unincorporated areas, right? So you're saying that was part of the reason, right? Part of the problem there. Well, right. we need we need a lot of infrastructure improvements, but for uh, it, it's tough for one commissioner to propose too much because they're going to say, well. You know, you're only one commissioner. It has to be divided among the other Correct. four. Yeah. And they do the best they can. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a difficult task. I mean, there's so many moving parts to it, you know. Uh, okay. I know education is a problem. But when did you notice that there was an a problem with the education? Oh, was this it, the last it, few years? Oh, or it since, since I've lived in the South Valley for f over 40 years and before that. It's an ongoing thing. It's ongoing. Uh, again, part of it is because uh, a lot of people, they only get involved with their children at the high school level. Or they only get involved with them when they're already in trouble. You should get involved with your children when they're still in the first grade. Uh, and stop blaming all the teachers, stop blaming. The parents are at fault to some degree. Uh, a lot of the parents, they don't have time to help their kids with their homework, but they have time to go get a beer every afternoon after work. Uh, well, that's, that's an example. Well, in, in the South Valley, this primarily landowners, am I right? They're mostly landowners? Well, yes, with the South Valley, which is very unique, most of the people own their own it homes. Very few homes are really mortgaged in the South Valley. Oh, I didn't know that. The, the very high percentage of, of people that outright own their own homes. But there's a lot of landowners, there's a lot of people with Yes, acreages, there's still a right? lot of uh, large acreage lots. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, they're, there's there's some, some parts of it is beautiful. I mean, you know, when you look at South Valley, it's a really nice piece of land there in, in, in some parts of it. Well, um, as I said to, to begin with, I live there because I choose to live there because I, I love the South Valley. I think it's beautiful. Uh, you like the simplicity of it? Yes. Uh, uh, the people are actually talk to each other, which up in the northeast side people don't talk to each other. Neighbors talk to each other, take care of each other. My follow-up question, and we'll move on from the South Valley after that. Um, why is it so important for uh, especially uh, candidates to win the South Valley. I know they can't win the Bernalillo County without the South Valley. And I know we were talking about this earlier 
uh, uh, shed some light on that. Well, one of the highest concentrations of, of, of Democrats at this time are within the unincorporated part of the South Valley. Oh. They, they tend to be more uh, conservative Democrats? Are they more? Well, it's, it's kind of uh, ironic that they're Democrats, but they have a lot of uh, conservative views. A lot of these people that are Democrats are fiscal conservatives. Uh, they believe a lot in the family unit. Uh, but, but they tend to be more on the conservative side, am I right? Conservative, yes, to, to a lot, in a large degree, yes. Kind of like the Blue Dog Democrats, right? Yes, more, yes. More or less like that. Yeah, because we were looking at the demographic, and I saw there was some independents, but not, uh, not that many. There is some independents moving there. There is some independents, some Republicans, but for the most part, the Democrats. But they, they're not uh, ultra-liberal uh, Democrats. Mostly conservatives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when we come back, we'll talk about the, state, uh, the economy of the state, okay? okay? We'll be right back after this. Uh, commercial break.